Now I'm feeling stuck. How to move on? Look at what's going on around you. When a wheel gets stuck, it's because something is lodged around it, right? And you can say at times, as we've mentioned, that look at some of the things that you're doing. Nobody else knows. You're probably beyond reproach. Somebody tells you, hey, you need to do X, Y, Z. You may go off on them. I, I'm, bitch, I'm doing like you need to get your... You see what I mean? So this generation is beyond reproach. So somebody try to come in and assist you with not get it, not being stuck. You may go off on them. So now you're responsible for getting yourself unstuck. It's not just this radio recording where I'm going to give you this formula. You got to go after this and begin to apply it. And as I said before, when you're losing life force, especially from conflict, when you're arguing, when you're fighting, you're going to lose life force. You don't really have the opportunity to fight the real battles within. Very clearly, they say that the heart, it produces a nectar. But it's only able to produce that nectar when you're feeling content, when you're feeling happy, when you're, ah, okay, this feels good. We good? Yeah, we good. Man, I love this. When is the last time we saw that? Also, you sometimes won't even just be able to blame your own self, even though you'll ultimately have to take fault, but the vibration around you. Other things happening. It's more chaotic than ever. And this is why you need yourself more now than ever. So you get unstuck by dislodging things that you know are keeping you in the same pattern. You are a wheel. And so if you're stuck and you're not rolling, there's a pattern that you're in and you need to move from that pattern. And you got to do that analysis. Listen to some of the music you may be listening to. If that music is not pushing you forward or it's keeping you back in that old time, girl, I remember when this came out, hey, this is my song. Remember, this is when you're choosing to go back to that and pick back up on that frequency. So you need to change those vibrations around you. It's all in environment sculpting. If you know what you're already going to expect when you walk into a situation, you're already there in that situation. So if you expect to see something different, you don't go there anymore. So these are formulas of getting unstuck. And if you want to invest in yourself, I can't say it enough today that this is not the one liners. But if you see it, if you're saying, OK, look, I really want to know how to get unstuck. I'm ready now. I'm telling you, if you go into ambassador training Sovereignty mentorship for one month, and you're really about that life, that transformation is going to take place because I know I put everything there that you will need. And you're going to go through that process one month, and you can just unsubscribe. Like, shoot, I'm, that's it. I got what I need. I'm gone. And that'll be great. But remember, there's real things you need to do to actually get unstuck. But it is use metaphors. Un, the wheel is stuck. What, what's that little wedge? What's that little wedge that's stopping the wheel that's wedged into my chakra centers? Because this is like your chakra centers are wheels. They're your planets. Where am I leaking at? Because that's what happens when a wedge or a cone is poked into your chakra center. You start to leak. And this could be, again, anybody. It's always somebody else. But you'd be surprised what's coming through that somebody else. And to be able to shift a pattern and get out of that whole thing, it's just like you already know what to expect. You can predict the future, so move in a mysterious way.